Hi guys, Merv back with you, and I have an old friend with me. Well, it's a young friend, but he's been around for a little while, and as you can see, our, our winged elm is growing so fast, and we're starting to get really nice branch ramification. In fact, we're getting trunk ramification too. And these extra branches on the trunk, because we do not need any other lower branches, these branches can be removed. We don't need them. Okay, just so that you can see. We do not need extra branching, not yet. Now, we, we wanted branch ramification and that these were cut back so that these branches could start filling out better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim back again and I'm looking at uh, which direction the top branch is going to go and keeping them short, giving them an opportunity to, to branch right back to close to the trunk. See, uh, we allow it to grow a little bit longer than necessary so that they will thicken up. Okay? Uh, and, but as we progress, we want to make sure that uh, we keep short branching, short branching. I leave two to three close leaves, maybe four close leaves. As you can see, they're even starting to, to uh, slow down with leaf growth. As you can see, branching are starting to develop nicely. Okay, and that's what we're going to have to do throughout this total tree. Uh, right now, my next phase too, I notice that uh, we've had wire on this plant for some time now. And I do not want it to damage. You see how that stayed when I took that wire off? Here's another one. Let's do this. Okay, let's watch this branch. This has been on, I'm, I'm guesstimating about three, four months, maybe five months that we've had wire on it. And you see how that branch has more or less stayed where we want it? Okay, I'm happy with the progress and what we, I'm going to do is I will uh, continue taking all of the wire off because I see situations here where especially the main trunk where it's starting to grow it's starting to push and create ruts damage in the trunk okay so um, just make sure that as you're progressing with your plants that you keep an eye on them and try to make sure that they they don't self-destruct okay I mean, the bonsai is going to be there for years to come, and all it does is just look prettier and prettier and just more like a tree consistently. Please uh, subscribe to us. Let us know what you would like to know, what you'd like to see. Um, hopefully you're enjoying and growing from the information that we're passing your way. And uh, remember Facebook and YouTube, Bonsai with Murder. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye.